Hello everyone, it is Abigail of the Black Book Space. One of my messages for today is to be kind. That is one of my favorite posters. I got it from Target the beginning of last year when we were starting our school year and I've had it up ever since. It's something that's a really great talking piece for the children. And I want to put it up on my channel because I think it's something that people forget about sometimes and I just want to put it out there. So in the meantime, make sure you subscribe to this video. When we come back, I'm going to be talking about how to have a successful bookish event. Just some ideas I have, so come back in a moment. So if you haven't already, make sure you grab your ticket to the Epic Book Chat Volume 2. We're going to be talking about The Other Black Girl, which is a book all about, it's like a sci-fi book, all about workplace situations. So if you're interested in workplace drama, you have to read that book. Gotta grab your ticket to celebrate that book with us. It's going to be amazing. Sorry for the extra noise. My keys are there and I'm like pushing them around. Anyways, I want to talk to you today about two of my favorite things. Number one, especially that. Number two, books. When you put them both together, you get a very fantastic time. So one thing that I highly suggest is for anyone who's written a book, why don't you put on your own events? I've talked about this before in one of my shorts. It's linked down below as well. Just talking about the importance of celebrating yourself. So when it comes to putting on events, they don't have to be anything exceptionally fancy. But for my events, I really like to do several things at once. First of all, I love to bring attention to whatever I'm doing. So for example, if I'm doing something where I'm celebrating a book, I am of course getting the people to purchase the book first. Um, and I'm also hopefully supporting at least one other business owner at the same time, which means I can hire a vendor who will come in and sell their wonderful gifts with us. I can have someone cater the event. Those are ways that I like to spread awareness about my event and make it a little more unique. And that also helps because that means that I'm not the only person doing something at the event, right? So if someone's catering, they probably are telling other people, oh, you know, I can't make it that day because I will be at the Epic Book Chat or something like that. So it's other ways, it's another way to get advertising out there because people who are coming to the event as a vendor or a um, caterer or some other aspect of the business, they're coming and they're spreading a word about what you're doing as well. And I love doing that because I also love to put that energy out there that I am also supporting other people too. That way I'm not the only person involved in what is going on. Okay. I wanted to prop that up. Anyway, so that is another way, right? Just supporting more than one business at your event is a really great way to spread awareness about it. Another thing, obviously, having food at your event, that's a good way to get people to come out. People love to eat. And by people, I mean myself, and I know many other people do too. It's kind of cool to have it themed. So if you're having like a seafood night with a certain type of book, you can make sure that you put on there the type of food that you are featuring. Or Thai food or desserts only. That would be really nice. Maybe mocktails or like a wine and read. Brunch. Cannot go wrong with brunch. So a books and brunch event would be something really cool. Do things that you know other people are talking about. If you hear people constantly talking about going to brunch, then maybe bring brunch into your event. If you see that a certain book is really popular and you haven't read it yet, that may be a book that you'd like to feature as well, but only if it's something you're actually interested in. Don't need to force yourself to conform to anything. If it's a book that you know you won't enjoy, don't force yourself to read it. Just have an event around it so that you can have people come. At least that's not what I recommend. I recommend you always do something that's true to you. So that's the third tip. Have an event that is true to you and your personality. If you know you're a person who likes things a nice certain way, then you make sure that you start planning in advance so that it is that certain way. If you know that you're just kind of like a casual person, then have it be casual. Make sure that it's something that is true to you that matches your personality, especially if, but not only, but especially if you're doing this for your own book. Because you're putting on this event, you want people to know you as the author. You want the book and the event to reflect who you are as the artist and the author for this book. So put it on your own way. Do your own thing. It clearly does not matter what anyone else thinks. And that's for anyone. I'm going off on a little tangent here. 
but I promise I'll bring it back. When it comes to content creation, bringing in artists and author, you will always have critics. What I've come to realize is any type of publicity is good publicity. If you have people commenting on your videos about some foolishness, they still gave you a view. If you can, they cannot take that back from you, right? So it's the same thing with events. At the end of the day, if you're putting on something that really reflects your personality, something that supports other businesses in the community, and something that has some food or something else that will engage people, and you know you did your best, then you did a great job and you were true to yourself. And at the end of the day, that truly is all that matters. So when you're putting on these events, make sure you go into it with a positive mindset. Maybe sit, do some visualization, think about what it's gonna feel like to have all of these amazing people at the event with you celebrating your book or celebrating any other book that you'd like to you know celebrate or feature um, visualization is really great for that and it helps to ease a lot of the anxiety around putting on an event when it comes to your first event think of this as a trial and error thing have fun with it that's really truly all that matters so those are my tips the first one being making sure that you are supporting other people around you maybe getting people to partner with you having like a vendor there people love to shop i'm um, having another business that you can feature in some capacity get creative with it maybe having a, a um, caterer which kind of leads into the next one having something else there that will engage people like games or food we had both last time it was a lot of fun and staying true to your personality i think my opinion those are three wonderful things that if you do that you cannot go wrong with having an event other things like advertising if you want to do something like paid advertising sure that's within your budget if that's something that you have the skill of doing highly recommend it's not something that i am doing right now because the facebook algorithm is all over the place and doing paid ads is not something that i want to figure out how to do again so i'm not doing that but it is something that you can also think about doing but i think that these are three things that people kind of overlook from time to time when it comes to putting on events so if you're thinking about putting on your own event tell us below tell us about it because if it's virtual, people can come from anywhere. That's another one. That's a hidden fourth event. Make your events virtual because why not? People from all over the world can join you. You don't know who will be in town. Put it out there. Put on event event bright. Put it on event event noir. If I can speak today, <laughs> so that you can spread the word about what you're doing. Because you never know who'll just drop into your event. You may have read the book as well. And you'll be able to meet new people. And then it's just wonderful because it all makes the world a better place and people are all reading and that's what we want, okay? So again, be kind. Do something that brings you joy today and comment below with your idea of a successful book event and what you'd like to see or what you plan to do yourself. No idea is too big, no idea is too small. Tell us so we can support you. I think that will be a lot of fun. So bye, signing off, see you next time.